And for the latest from the State Control Centre, I'm joined by Sky News Melbourne reporter Matt Gallant. Matt, what is the latest you can tell us about this fire? Good evening, yes. Well, this fire in Dereal has burnt through so far 900 hectares and is travelling, I was told, in a southerly direction. So far, there are 74 vehicles out there and three aircraft battling the blaze. And for more on this situation as it unfolds, I'm joined by Ewan Ferguson, CFA Chief Officer. And Ewan, what's the situation out there currently? Well, the fire is currently actively burning on the eastern flank. Uh, we're expecting a wind change to occur. It's quite a complex wind change. Uh, it's starting around about now, but the main change won't be coming through until later this evening, perhaps around about midnight. That's going to push the fire in a northeasterly direction. But we've had a busy day today across Victoria. Currently on the Dereal fire, uh, we've got CFA, DSC and MFB crews have been committed. Uh, they've been actively defending uh, dozens of houses. We have had some reported, uh, unconfirmed reports of a house loss. Uh, we won't be able to confirm that until tomorrow morning. Uh, sadly, there's also been a civilian injury uh, that person's OK. And four firefighters have also been transported to Ballarat Hospital uh, and they're also OK. But this fire will continue to uh, be actively worked on overnight and uh, over tomorrow as well. Are firefighters concerned of this wind change coming through? How is it going to change the conditions as far as battling this blaze? Well, with the wind change, we're hoping that there'll be uh, moisture uh, and a backing off of the wind. So that's a good thing. But the difficulty is when we've got firefighters on the ground, the change in wind direction will actually change the direction of the main part of the fire. And we've learned some hard lessons about wind change. So uh, our incident controllers and our firefighters on the ground are currently being warned about the wind change uh, and in some cases there may be a specific warning which is issued to our firefighters during the course of the wind change to make sure that they're on burnt ground and safe from uh, any sort of burn over incident. What can you tell me about the firefighters who have suffered injuries? What happened? Are you able to tell me what injuries they did suffer? Yeah look it's not clear but we understand that uh, one of our vehicles may have been involved in an accident hitting a tree uh, and, and that might be related to the very heavy smoke uh, during parts of this fire uh, and as a result of that uh, one of our vehicles has been disabled. Uh, the very early report I have is that uh, they deployed the crew protection system uh, so this is a, a recent modification that CFA has put on our tankers uh, and that has proven very very effective uh, but at the same time they've also ingested a fair bit of smoke and in some cases a bit of heat uh, stress as well. And quickly what about the civilian as well the victim there? Yeah we understand that was related to a medical condition. Uh, Ambulance Victoria treated that person on scene uh, and they're now OK. Uh, and just to remind people that there is a relief centre which has been established, uh, one at Camperdown uh, and one at Linton. So if there are members of the public who have been uh, dislocated by any of the fires today, then they can uh, seek some relief in, in those places. Ewan Ferguson, thank you so much for that. Also worth mentioning, an earlier fire, which was an emergency in office, has been down grade to a watch and act but we'll bring you all the latest as it comes to hand from the state control center all right matt gallant with ewan ferguson thanks very much